Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. I'm recording this on the 20th of December, 2022. And ostensibly, if you're watching this, you are either uh, in our course community for web designers, digital media brands, online agencies who are looking to get more clients in 2023, or you may be watching this on YouTube, in which case this may be a little bit more uh, difficult to follow. But essentially, uh, the underlying ethos or approach here is that we are using education marketing to empower our clients, our audience, showing them how to do things online that will help them build their brands and build their businesses in a pretty altruistic way. So we're not selling anything. We're teaching things with the expectation that a small percentage of our audience will want to hire us to have this service done for them rather than uh, you know doing it themselves. Because let's be honest, most of them can't do it for themselves. If they're realtors or CPAs or doctors or therapists or psychic mediums or sushi restaurants or you know pizzerias, and you're teaching them how to create a great landing page for social media using something like Card or WordPress and embedding uh, local Yelp testimonials and reviews using a external software like testimonials.to, you are essentially giving folks this really great um, you know, kind of solution that will no doubt build their brand and business in a very obvious way, right? It's much better to have a landing page featuring 100 testimonials or 100 local pizza reviews of your spot if you're selling pizza in the community than it is to drive traffic to a PDF menu or a DoorDash listing, etc. right? But rather than selling people on a service, like reaching out and being like, hey, Joe's Pizza, my name's Ian and I want to sell you this. Instead, what you're doing is teaching them how to do this for themselves with the expectation, of course, that they largely can't do it themselves. And even if they have a designer or developer or a web a person in their orbit already, they're going to be clicking on your affiliate links to actually sign up for the services that you are demonstrating as part of the course. So that's the overarching ethos of this whole entire sort of, uh, you know, the thinking that goes behind the education marketing approach to selling services. And again, you're always expecting that only a small percentage of your audience actually takes you up on any offer at all, but you don't need that many uh, people to actually either hire you or click on your affiliate links, you know, within your course community to start making a real significant and substantial income. Not to count, of course, how many folks are going to just look at you as the local thought leader, the guru, the influencer, the person who is empowering them through service information and opportunity with respect to building their brands and businesses in an altruistic way. All right. So uh, with all that out of the way, and I only record that for people who are kind of new to this process, many folks in our uh, new cohort have asked about my recommendations for picking uh, a, an LMS platform, a course community. It's an important part of the process. If you're going to teach something, you actually have to have some sort of ecosystem by which you can teach, right? So here are some of the the uh, common ones and popular ones that I've used or have recommended to others in my entrepreneurial orbit with a lot of success. There's a PDF actually of this as well uh, in the community. And each of these have links that you can access. But if you're just watching this publicly on YouTube, uh, here are some recommendations. And, and I will also caveat some of this with some really sort of recency with respect to you know news in this industry. So um, again, if I didn't say this already, it's the 20th of December and our course just launched today. Hence, I'm recording this today. All right. So uh, I really recommend if you, to do this really well, you want to have a platform that has some sort of ability to 
deliver cohorts or some sort of immersive experience for your audience where they can interact with you, they can interact with each other, and they can ask questions, et cetera, et cetera. So the best way of doing that is something like Circle, which allows you to build a community, a cohort, a group of folks traveling through a path together with respect to learning uh, you know, some sort of strategy or system or that sort of approach. There's uh, something called Heartbeat, which is similar to a Circle. I've used both of these, uh, Circle for sure, for a long time since they launched. Heartbeat, I don't use currently, uh, but I've tested their platform since pretty much th they launched. And they have also in, uh, they have, you know, inbuilt courses and cohorts and you know an app-based experience that allows your students your cl your potential clients to interact with each other interact with you ask questions you know complete steps uh all that stuff that you would want in a course community all right so and these are very community oriented rather than static course oriented in other words they have cohorts and interactivity between uh, members and subscribers and students and you as the thought leader, as the community leader, as the teacher, and as the service provider, ultimately, because you're selling a service, right? So finally, what I'd recommend here, and this is really important with respect to things that are happening right now in the you know, the online sort of digital download, e-commerce, LMS course space, the big news was a couple of days ago, Gumroad, uh, which we're actually using for the uh, the current uh, a course cohort, for those of you who've signed up, are ready to join us on the 20th of December uh, for digital media brands, web designers, and online agencies. We're actually delivering this on Gumroad, so you can see a good example of what that looks like. But the news has been that Gumroad has changed its fee structure from a you know, like a, a sort of a staggered structure, 3%, 5%, then like 9% to an across the board 10% fee structure where Gumroad takes 10% of all your transactions, which, you know, in a, in, in a certain respect has been quite shocking to many folks who sell content on Gumroad online. If you're making, let's say, $100,000 a year and you were paying 3%, you know, a week ago, right, that's $3,000. And per January 23rd, I think, or the 31st, when this new fee structure takes a hold, you'll be paying $10,000 in fees. And that doesn't include uh, like payment processing fees, which can be another, you know, three and a half percent, 2.9%. So you can really start to see where, you know, Picking the right platform is really important from the standpoint of fees. So you may want to consider, depending on your goals, and I'm going to make an important point here in a second, you may want to pick a platform that charges no fees, but charges a monthly fee. Let me restate that. Charges no fees on transactions, but charges a monthly fee for the software itself. Podia is a good example of that. So Podia actually charges anywhere from you know 39 to like 89 dollars a month for the software itself but they don't charge any fees you do pay the credit card transaction fees but podia themselves doesn't make their money from fees gumroad charges nothing for the software so you can get started today selling whatever you want and they're not going to charge you anything but every time you make a dollar they're going to make 10 percent of that going forward i mean again right now it's three percent to like nine percent of the fees they charge but in the future a month from now it's going to be 10 percent for everybody so the other piece we use pathright pathright charges no fees we pay no fees um but they do charge it can be quite a hefty amount to use their LMS software on a monthly basis. But here's the caveat to this. If you're giving away free courses, which is kind of the approach that we're teaching here in this particular uh, you know, series of steps, 
giving away a free course that educates and empowers your ideal audience with a specific step-by-step strategy that achieves an end goal or ultimate objective that they really want, right? So your client really wants that great looking landing page that features all of their local testimonials, all of their homes that have been sold and the happy buyers who are on video talking about that realtor or that CPA or that financial advisor or that psychic medium or that sushi, uh, you know, role that is the best in Cleveland or Kansas or Kentucky or whatever. I mean, that end objective, if you're teaching that and demonstrating that for free on Gumroad, you're not charging anything, well, then Gumroad all of a sudden becomes pretty attractive because you don't have to pay anything to use their software. So you can teach the course without paying anything because you're not actually charging your clients anything. You're making your money when folks hire you to do the actual thing that you're demonstrating and or affiliate commissions that you're earning from the recommendations that you make in the course. All right, so all this is something that you have to figure out for yourself. If you're part of our course, I can help you make this decision. So simply reach out to me within the course uh, itself, and I'm happy to advise. But otherwise, you know, you have to choose what makes the most sense to you. Circle, for an example, again, another example of a great community-based, cohort-based uh, community for courses, but they charge anywhere from you know seventy-nine. Uh, actually, I think on the on the low end for courses, it's ninety nine now, and it can run up to you know three ninety nine uh, or even above, depending on how many courses you have, how much content you have, how many members you have, etc. I mean, all this changes pretty frequently. These platforms change their fee structures, their uh, you know their restrictions on how many members, courses, etc. So you have to check all that out in real time to get a true accounting of which one of these is the best for you. I'm going to cover some other options here uh, for folks in our, uh, you know, in our, in our specific cohort. So I'm not going to do this on YouTube because it gets just too long and complex. Um, But the other option that I really recommend if you're teaching courses, I'm going to give you two options. One is Ghost. And Ghost is just a phenomenal platform for publishing content. You have all the SEO benefits if you're uh, publishing this stuff in a live way, which you know generally an LMS doesn't give you. So Ghost is more like a membership uh, style site that has a blog and a community and all that sort of thing. They now have native comments, so you can really have a you know member driven interactive ecosystem where your members are asking questions, they're interacting with each other. I mean, comments on Ghost are really a recent development, um, and it's just turned Ghost into a viable kind of alternative, not 100%, but quite close to a viable alternative to something like a, you know, a circle or a heartbeat or even a buddy press slash buddy boss. Um, And the last option I'm going to also recommend is now this is a service that we use and pay for um, on our platform and it's not it's very different than the rest of these it's a private audio uh, course community so you can actually create private feeds that are podcasts ostensibly but they are private to your clients your community and you can teach things in a you know you can use audio to create these listen on the go bingeable uh, kind of episodes or courses where people can learn an exact step by step sequence of you know steps or a process uh, and this is ideal for those of you who don't like to record content uh, you know using video at, but really like podcasting or like audio content and want to teach your audience how to do things using 
you know, an audio stream, a private audio feed, which is quite a sophisticated thing for most folks, right? If you're creating private audios that are exclusive to your local community or your niche neighbors or your professional peers, people are kind of, this is like a new idea to most folks. So you look like you have a really good sense of what you're doing, you know, you, it makes you look like an expert and it's really quite cool. The technology, you can take payments on hello audio, you can send emails and do all sorts of other things as well. And it's not quite the same as some of these other uh, solutions. You know, it doesn't really have the community feel. It doesn't have like an interactive, you know, sort of ecosystem where folks are interacting with you and each other. It's all delivered via podcasting apps in a privatized way. But it's you know really a great solution for folks in our audience who want to do this process, but kind of are reluctant to do video courses or record video content. So that's pretty much the state of my recommendations for today, the twentieth of, of December. Again, if you're in our uh, our course, you know feel free to ask for my advice on any of these and tell me your situation, and I'm happy to advise. But if you're not and you're watching this just for free on YouTube, you know take a look at some of these uh, options and pick one that's good for you. Okie doke. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.